Fiona Stanley Hospital is Perth's biggest public medical facility, which opened in 2014. The site covers 32 hectares, and it's impressive to say the least. The hospital is a huge construction of buildings, parkland, bushland, rooftop gardens and courtyards. The landscape team planted over 2,100 trees and 160,000 shrubs. Right now we're outside. Natalie Bush was the landscape architect. What was your brief? Well, to break it down in a really simplistic way, there were three things. Um, definitely it's for people. So it's giving people, wherever possible, access to landscape spaces, a view of something green and living, and, um, and natural light. Secondly, it was to create biodiversity. And then thirdly, it's about creating a place, a civic place that really um, people can feel comfortable in. So we're outside the rehabilitation centre. What's the thinking behind the design of these gardens? Well, this is um, a space where People essentially live when they're in rehab because they're here for quite a long time. So we looked at this as being the, their local park where they can come out, um, your family come to visit them, they can like bring pets, okay. they can, and but still be part of the, the main hospital. Within the rehab centre, gardens and landscaping were also important considerations. So the thinking behind this space and the design is really it's meant to be um, like, a, like a backyard, is that yeah. something you use? We tried to put lots of elements in that you would find in your backyard at home. So we've got a lemon tree mm -hmm. over there with a lemon on it. And I see lots of bird attracting plants like the Banksia nivea and the Grevillea crucifolia. These are classic local Perth yeah. and southwest plants. Definitely. The rehab facility is using landscaping to create spaces that aid directly in a physical sense to recovery, as well as in terms of well-being. And that idea permeates all of the buildings. Greenery is seen from every window, which brings a wonderful sense of calm. In the intensive care unit, or ICU, where patients are often extremely unwell, the design goes one step further to bring an outdoor experience to those who need even the most specialist care. So how is this space used from a clinical perspective? Yeah, it's a really unique space. Never worked in intensive care that has actually had an outdoor space attached to it before. Have you found that's made a difference in the recovery for some patients? Absolutely. I, I think the, the patients, uh, and we've had you know, compliments about having to be able to come outside and, and spend time and look at nature and not have to be in in on attached to machines and then you know we've got patients from uh, remote communities that haven't been outside for quite some time because they've been so ill they can come outside for multiple times of the day and it becomes part of their rehab plan and i yeah. see from a design perspective you've gone for really low maintenance plants the lamandra and the chinese star jasmine so it's, it's it's low maintenance stuff but looks yeah. good still yeah so um super tough so we really needed to have something that we were confident would work and it's got this really lovely textural, I think, quality to it on mass, which means that not only from the inside it provides some, you know, some nice relief, but for patients on the other side, because these are all rooms that look into this courtyard, there's a nice little separation between mm. the two of them. So when you're in this courtyard, you don't feel like everyone's looking at you, mm. sort of in your most vulnerable state. My guided tour of the hospital continues and I'm lucky enough to be taken behind the scenes through the plant and equipment room and out onto a rather unusual rooftop garden. What a job getting all this material up there. Yeah, they had to uh, crane everything that you see up. So all of the, the rock material, the, the granite, the growing mediums, all the soil, the plants, um, everything had to be craned up. It's huge. What's the depth of the soil here? At the edge, um, it's where there's no planting and it's about 200 and then it rakes up to about a metre where the trees are, sort of in the middle. And how about plant selection? Well, the hero really has to be up through here, the Banksia menziesii. It's doing really well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which is, it's a pretty tough gig for a um, Banksia on a rooftop yeah. like this. I'm not sure if you know, but the whole um, facade here of the ward towers behind us was actually conceived from a, a Banksia seed in the little openings of the pod in the Banksia Ah, seed. right. So, in so. fact, now you mention it, all of those yeah. little window awnings look like 
banksia cone follicles, don't yeah. they? Other plants that are doing well in these tough conditions include Vicinia nodosa, Banksia nivea, and Beaufortia estiva. So what was the purpose of this area in terms of design? Well, um, there's a very strong evidence base that we know people looking out from windows onto green spaces actually have a much faster recovery time. It reduces stress and anxiety, and it means people use less pain relief. So we really positioned all of these roof gardens so that they could have the most outlook from the ward towers where people were in the building to reduce stress. This is a really impressive project for a number of reasons. The integration of landscape design to at least some way offset the impact that a development of this scale has on the natural landscape. But also how it helps to aid patient recovery and improve wellbeing. As far as medical advancements go, I reckon it's got to be groundbreaking.